I have not received it yet. So let's take a look at the inventory and take a look at the on hand form. And as I go and I scroll down, you notice that there are three properties at the bottom left, physical cost amount, financial cost amount, and the cost price. So it doesn't cost me anything yet because I have not received anything yet. I'm just placing this line into the order. Similar for the second line, it doesn't cost me anything yet. However, if you take a look at the third line and go to the on hand, since I've already bought some and I've already accepted an invoice, they have been fully invoiced, system automatically have calculated the price of $92.50. In this demonstration, I'd like to show you that the formula, it really depends on if you have or have not selected the include physical value. So therefore, I may have purchased this item in different prices and it came up to be $92.50. In order to investigate how this has been created, I'd like to go through this demonstration for you to understand how the system has calculated it for you. So when I click close, I take a look at the non-stockable item you have no choices to take a look at any of those costing they are non-stockable so it wouldn't cost you anything but you may have a purchase price associated with it but they don't cost you anything because you don't store them for the service product as a stockable again you didn't have any option in order to calculate the cost only tangible items can be associated with the costing now if I go to update line I could register each line one by one but I decide not to do that you have already gone through so many different demos that I've already demonstrated for you I confirm this PO and for the very first time I like to step by step analyze the process as soon as I do a physical update and I say go ahead and receive all these lines it requires me to specify a product receipt number which is equivalent of a packing slip number this is another way that you could complete the faith of all the lines in a PO both the stockable and non stockable both item and services so I click OK even though they don't create any inventory transactions but now you're receiving it so therefore you can accept an invoice for it. if I take a look at the inventory and take a look at the on hand now as you see for the first line I have bought 20 at the price of 100. So therefore, so far, the intermediate or preliminary formula, it may come up as follow. If you take a look at the physical cost amount and divide it by physical inventory, it turns to be exact purchase price. So assume my cost is exactly equivalent of a purchase price. Now, if I take a look at the second line, it uses a different model, which has not selected the include physical value. Even though I have received that many, it wouldn't cost me anything in my inventory. That means that you may be financially liable for it, but in the inventory side, you're not going to include any costing value for it yet. That's an example of the difference of having the checkbox to say include physical value, yes or no. Now, in order to elaborate on this, you have to see an additional sets of POs to be generated for you. I do not invoice this PO just yet. I rather go and create a brand new invoice but as a reminder if I go to the FIFO the reason you had a hundred dollars calculated that way is due to the include physical value checkbox versus the LIFO that is selected to the SB and it doesn't have include physical value in it so now if I go ahead and create a brand new purchase order since I'm focusing on the only first two lines you could choose a vendor the same or different assign adequate default settings on the header and copy from the previous purchase order out of this list I'm only interested in the first two lines so I'm just going to clear up the lines that are not necessarily adequate for my demo and I bring up only two lines out of the previous PO but this time to make it more interesting and prove the concept that the purchase price is not necessarily the cost price I change this to be $150 now and you would assume that if that's the case how the system could calculate the cost price so originally I bought 20 at the price of 100 now I'm buying it at the price of 150 I'm not accepting any invoices just yet I'm receiving the second batch of items now if you take a look at the inventory on hand you notice that the purchase price was 150 but it costs you 125 now why 